Bruce Banner, Earth 616, aka The Hulk Complete Comic Series Part 3. This incarnation of the Hulk joined the Pantheon. The Pantheon were led by Agamemnon, an immortal offspring of an Asgardian and a human. Unknown at the time was that centuries earlier, Agamemnon had offered any of his offspring to the alien Trojans in exchange for the ability to pass his godhood down to his descendants. As a favor to their friend Jim Wilson, the Hulk and Rick agreed to help out at an AIDS benefit concert with Rick headlining and Hulk providing security. The concert was disrupted by the drug-addicted assassin Speed Freak, who was sent to kill one of the concert's attendees. Jim was stabbed defending the man, and the Hulk got rid of Speed Freak before he could kill anybody. During one of his missions with the Pantheon, the Hulk fought alongside a rebel force in Transsabal against both SHIELD issue mandroids and the government mutant team X-Factor. Transabal's dictator Farnok Don had promised the U.S. government energy assistance if they helped him keep his place as unchallenged ruler. He was exposed as a psycho when he tried to win the war by tying a mother and child to two separate missiles and threatened to launch them if the Pantheon did not withdraw. The Hulk and X-Factor, working together, stopped him. The tyrant was forced to face his people for the crimes he had committed, but most of them still saw him as a god and bowed at his feet. He was then shot and killed by a traumatized Rick Jones. Pantheon member Atalanta was shot down in the Himalayas by the Trojan warrior Trauma, and the Hulk, Ulysses, and Hector were sent to find her. Trauma found Atlanta and confessed his love to her before the Hulk showed up and brought down an avalanche on top of him. During this time Marlo was killed by a woman posing as Rick's mother. Because the leader shared a mental bond with Rick, he offered to bring her back to life. The leader attacked the Pantheon's headquarters, the Mount using both his Gamma soldiers and the UFOs to distract the Hulk so that he could ask Agamemnon for help against Hydra. Agamemnon agreed to help and the Hulk left in anger. Agamemnon betrayed the leader by sending the Hulk to Freehold in order to kill him. The Hulk crashed into Freehold during the middle of the Hydra invasion and when the leader was trying to resurrect Marlow. Overcome with anger, the Hulk ignored Rick's pleas to stop and destroyed the machine because he thought that the leader was lying and taking advantage of his grieving friend. The leader was seemingly killed in the battle. The Hulk knocked the helmet off of Redeemer, saw the resurrected General Ross, and realized his mistake. When Agamemnon felt it was time to venture out into the world to reconnect with the common people, he appointed the Hulk as his replacement. On his first mission as leader he traveled to the Amazon to investigate a new company that was cutting down the rainforest. There, he was jumped by the juggernaut who was working as an enforcer for the New World Order, NWO, and their leader, the Red Skull. The Hulk was captured and brainwashed into fighting the Avengers, believing that the Juggernaut was Banner's own abusive father. The Hulk was able to shake off the mind control when the Juggernaut praised him and he realized that Banner's real father would never have shown such kindness. The psychic backlash released the creature piecemeal from his holding container. The Hulk began showing signs of instability when he began referring to himself as Hulk or the Hulk instead of Bruce. As a favor to a former Pantheon member Perseus, the Hulk traveled to Loch Ness to investigate reports of a monster in the lake, which turned out to be piecemeal. The Hulk was about to defeat him when the madman interfered. After Perseus was killed, the Hulk killed piecemeal and appeared to kill the madman, but no body was found. Using his new power as leader of the Pantheon, the Hulk led a strike against a maximum security prison to free an ex-girlfriend who had been falsely imprisoned. 
Trauma returned and kidnapped Atalanta was to make her his bride. With the help of the Silver Surfer and the Star Jammers, the Hulk and the Pantheon attacked the Trojan home world. Upon arriving they were all shocked when Trauma's father, the Trojan leader, Lord Armageddon, told them the truth about Agamemnon. If they tried to take Atalanta back, then the Trojans would take back the extended lives of the entire Pantheon. The Hulk, not caring about the deal, attacked Trauma, accidentally impaling Trauma on his own shoulder spike. With his last words, Trauma pardoned the Pantheon and asked his father to let them all leave in peace. The Hulk was taken into the future by Rick Jones' granddaughter Janice to fight his future self, Maestro. Maestro was a tyrant who had killed all the heroes and villains on Earth and named himself Emperor of the Post-Apocalyptic World. He had the intelligence of Banner and was twice as strong as the Hulk. Maestro was killed when the Hulk sent him back in time to Ground Zero at the moment the Gamma Bomb that created him had gone off. After killing Maestro the Hulk was sent back to the present, haunted by the thought of losing control and becoming Maestro. Soon after this, Rick and Marlo were married. At the wedding Betty told the Hulk that she wanted to move into the mound to be with him. After the wedding, the Hulk was attacked by the disgraced Skrull warrior Talos the Tamed. In an effort to gain back some honor, Talos wanted to be killed by Earth's strongest warrior. The Hulk refused to fight because of how well his relationship with Betty was going and he did not want to risk losing his temper again. Later, the Hulk received news that his old partner Jim Wilson was at an AIDS protest that was getting out of control. He took him back to the mound to give him treatment, but despite the advanced technology, Jim still died. Having discovered the truth about Agamemnon, the Hulk, and the rest of the Pantheon made him stand trial. Agamemnon resurrected all of the dead Pantheon warriors to kill everyone in the mount. Agamemnon tried to escape, but he was instead killed by Atalanta, which brought an end to the undead warriors. Achilles, still loyal to Agamemnon, tried killing teammate Ulysses, but the bullet ricocheted and hit Betty. The Hulk became so angry that he reverted to Bruce Banner's body with the Hulk's brain. Even in his human form he gave off enough gamma radiation to make Achilles vulnerable, and Ulysses killed him citation needed. Betty's Death and Resurrection The Pantheon fled their former base, and the still mindless Bruce was taken into custody and temporarily placed in the care of Doc Sampson while Betty was treated for the bullet wound. Nick Fury took Banner into SHIELD custody because he was a fugitive. During Bruce's transport, Betty died and her soul was given the chance to go to heaven. First she wanted to visit Bruce to see if he still loved her. He calmed down when he saw her and was able to transform and escape. After seeing how important she was to him Betty decided to live and return to her body. The Hulk visited the destroyed mount and saw a hologram set up by Paris, telling him that he was now the leader of the Pantheon and that the Hulk had been fired from it. Living under the last name Danner, the Hulk and Betty moved to a small town in Florida. To hide his green skin, the Hulk wore bandages all over his body and claimed to be a burn victim. Soon after their move a child was killed by a gigantic shadowy figure, and the Hulk was suspected of the crime because of his size. Upon investigation, the Hulk found out that the true killer was a deranged old man living in the Everglades with the Man-Thing, and rescued a child. A few days later the Hulk and Betty offered their help to a young pregnant homeless girl. While at the clinic protesters attacked and the girl was shot and killed. The Hulk offered the girl's father his help in bringing her killer to justice. 
They learned the killer was just a kid who had accidentally shot her when someone pushed him. The father revealed himself to be Speed Freak and tried to kill the kid. The Hulk hurled a car battery at Speed Freak, which covered him in battery acid, burning most of the skin off his face and causing him to flee. The Hulk learned that the Abomination was fighting cops in the sewers of New York and decided that it was his problem. The homeless were being cleared out because the police commissioner was working for a drug lord who needed the sewers for new drug routes. While the Hulk confronted the Abomination, the cops used the opportunity to clear out the homeless by killing almost all of them. The Abomination snapped and started killing all the cops, then took his battle with the Hulk to the surface. They crashed through the Daily Bugle before the Abomination jumped onto a news copter and crashed it. He used the opportunity to escape while the Hulk was distracted. An army squad led by Matt Talbot captured Betty. After the Hulk saw Matt shoot Betty in both legs, he went so far over the edge that he reverted to his Banner form, and Banner was taken into custody. During a jailbreak Bruce, still with the mind of the Hulk, ran towards a grenade and nearly died when it went off. He was able to transform into the Hulk before he could be killed, but a shrapnel fragment was left in his brain, extremely hindering his intelligence citation needed. Seeking a device to remove the shrapnel, the Hulk traveled to the leader's freehold. With the leader dead, the hidden Arctic Sanctuary freehold had been placed in the care of Omnibus. Omnibus believed that there would eventually be a nuclear war that would kill everyone on Earth so he decided to speed it up by ordering terrorist attacks across the world to cause strain on global relations. He had also mentally controlled many high-ranking government officials including Talbot which explained his insane behavior. Jailbait overheard Omnibus plan and exposed him to the people of Freehold and he was sentenced to death. The Hulk decided that the best way to save the world would be to pose as Maestro and claim to be the man behind the terrorist attacks. A psychotic Thor was sent to defeat him. It was a close battle until an atom bomb was dropped on top of them. The Hulk was believed dead by most of the world but he had actually used a hidden Pantheon base to survive. Traveling through Alaska, the Hulk ran into Janice and took her to an unused Pantheon, he was then mentally ordered by Onslaught to find and kill Cable. Cable and Storm were able to free the Hulk from Onslaught's control, and they joined the rest of the heroes in New York for the battle against Onslaught. The Hulk and Banner were separated after he destroyed Onslaught's body. Banner was among the heroes who sacrificed themselves to destroy Onslaught and the Savage Hulk was again unleashed on the world. Banner was seemingly killed when Onslaught was destroyed, but like all the other heroes who had seemingly sacrificed their lives, Banner had actually been transported to the counter-Earth pocket dimension created by Franklin Richards. In this new pocket universe, Banner and the new heroes were reborn. He lived a new life where he had gone to State University with Reed Richards, Victor Von Doom, Tony Stark, and Henry Pym. Along with Tony's friend Connor Rebel O'Reilly they formed the Atomic Knights of the Round Table. Banner worked with them on an exosuite project, however, none of them could decide how to use it. Banner shifted his focus to gamma radiation research instead. After university, he began working for Stark Industries. Stark Industries became a target of the terrorist organization, Hydra, secretly funded by Victor Von Doom. At the time Banner was creating a gamma bomb for the military which Hydra set off with Banner inside. The resulting explosion mutated Banner into a new incarnation of the Hulk. 
He clashed with Stark in his new persona as Iron Man the Hulk escaped and was later manipulated by Loki to attack the newly formed Avengers at their Avengers Island headquarters. The battle injured many of their members, decimated their base, and caused a breach in its power supply, the powerful Gamma Core the Hulk aided the Fantastic Four, Iron Man and the Avengers in containing the breach and saving the eastern United States from destruction. The Hulk and his cousin, Jennifer Walters, sought the aid of Leonard Sampson to find a means to stabilize the Hulk's mutation. Sampson, also mutated by gamma rays, received a blood transfusion to stabilize his mutation, and Jennifer impulsively took a transfusion as well mutating herself into the She-Hulk. They joined together as the Hulk Busters and offered their services to Tony Stark. The Hulk aided the world's heroes in stopping Galactus the Hulk also aided the world's heroes when the counter-Earth dimension was briefly merged with a universe from a distant cosmos, designated Earth-50 to create Earth-13 and prevented an invasion from the Skrulls and the Negative Zone before the proper status quo was restored.